Total Energy's BWF World Championships 2022, in which 343 of the top badminton players from around the world, from 46 member associations, have been gathering here at the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. We have raced through these matches, haven't we? Four of them already have happened. They've all been straight games victories. What will happen now in the fifth match as uh, the men's singles, the second men's singles of the day here on court two will happen very shortly indeed. Just looking at uh, how that's shaping up on the ladder. Well, the winner of this match coming up will play either Kantapon Wang Charan, who will be the overwhelming favorite against Kai Schaefer of Germany. So much badminton to go, of course. Lots of matches to get through. So many competitors. Well, we start with that. Long, long way to get all the way to the final. As we await the officials to make their way onto court two. So coming up next, it's Indonesia's Jonathan Christie up against well, France's Thomas Junior Popov. know that Jonathan Christie is a, a big crowd favorite generally wherever he goes. He will be the big, big favorite in this one. Just 24 years of age, but he's already made quite a name for himself. Just awaiting those officials. Lovely view of this uh, wonderful arena that was built in the 1950s. Has been revamped, of course. Was a venue for the 2020 Olympics just over a year ago. And it held all the table tennis events. So there they are, Christie leading the way there. Man who's uh, won a lot in his time. So Cup 2015 bronze medals in 2015-2019. He was part of the gold medal winning team of 2020, the Thomas Cup. A couple of silvers in 2016 and 2022. A bronze in 2018. A former Asian Games gold medalist. A former Asian team champion. Plenty of gold medals in the Southeast Asian Games. At the World Junior Championships, he's won a couple of silvers. That's in a mixed team event. And, uh, and the BWF World Toys had three titles, most recently in the Swiss Open a few months ago. They played each other at that very Swiss Open I was telling you about. Christy won that in three. Now, that Swiss Open was the first title he won in three years after really making a name for himself in 2019. Well, his opponent, Toma Junior Popov. We'll talk about him shortly as we look at Christie's bio here. 24 years of age, from the capital, Jakarta, 179 centimetres tall. He is currently seventh in the world. He has been as high as number four, and that was in August of 2019. As I said, that was when he really started to make a name for himself. Junior Popov is a massive 196, very, very tall player. 
almost 20 centimeters taller than his opponent. He's from the capital of Bulgaria, where his, uh, he was born. That's where his, I'll tell you about that in a short while. He's 28th in the world now. He's, he used to be uh, as high as 25th. That was in just a short while ago, in May 2022. Yeah, his father, Thomas, is a former Bulgarian and French national player. His brother, Christo, of course, also plays badminton. They play together. Men's doubles, umpire Toy Sumotsu. Uh, Sutomu, excuse me. And we saw Jess Chan earlier from Singapore, the service judge. So Junior Popov, he's a bronze medal winner at the European Championships earlier this year. European junior champion previously in 2017. And uh, for his countries, helped win a silver in the mixed team championships 2021. A bronze in the Mediterranean Games in 2018. But the World Toys got four titles. Most recently, the Orleans Masters. That was a Super 100. He's really come to the fore in the last couple of years. Ready the to play. Locks Open, the Orleans Masters, and the Spain Masters. Plenty of titles on the International Challenge and Series circuit, 10 of them. No doubt, while he's a, a really quite a good player, Popov, he is up against it today against Jonathan Christie. They've played almost the same number of matches overall 378 for Christie, 325 for Popov. Christie's won 252, he's lost 126. Popov has won 234, he's won 91. Excuse me, he's one 234s lost 91. And overall this year, Christie's had a, not a bad year. 24 wins, 11 defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, top of his 114 and lost eight. Jonathan Christie, Indonesia. And on my left, Thomas Junior Pop of France. Thomas Junior part of two star. Double. Christy with Play. three runner up medals this year. Two runner up medals, and he won the Swiss Open. Service sold. One. Start here for Christy. Very little Bulgarian there. First point on the board, pop off. Yeah, very much in that one, wasn't it? Two, oh. Done on the back end there. Service so three. From, uh, Christie. Two. 
Lovely, lovely shot. That's his coach. He's been uh, quiet in his early days. Clipping the nets and a quick apology there from Popov. The service of three all. On his day, he can uh, be explosive. This man, Popov. Yeah, just a little bit more on that one, Christine. Yeah, Chris will be disappointed to get that over at least. rankings and uh, 20 places between them you'd expect Christie to be the firm favorite and to cruise through this overall as we said it was anything but easy for him had the Swiss Open it could have gone either way Six, four. Christie winning that one 21 18 16 21 24 22 really could have gone either way that one So he's opened up the biggest lead we've had up till now, three points, Christy. That's very, very nicely done. Probably the best shot he's played so far, Christy. Just over his head. isn't it from him that's why he gives that reaction we've won that point Well, this is good stuff from Nine, Christy now, four. starting to pull away. Five-point lead. Maybe quite happy with that. Not going Popov's way right now. Ten, the lead four. is six. Christie starting to put a firm imprint on this game. Oh. 
this is uh, Popov's 11 for Interval. First World Championship, and Christy, he goes into the interval, comfortable, 11 4 up. Court to 20 seconds. Court to 20 seconds. Coach, it's your team. Eleven, four, three. Well, that's what he's got, the aggression, and he comes at a terrific height. Service off. Five. Eleven. That's more like it from Popov. He knows he's got to do something now before that lead becomes insurmountable. Certainly likes that pop off. Much better since the interval for pop off. Long Australia there, 24 points, 24 shots. Seven so. Twelve. That was a good little fight back there from pop off. For a little while at least. Just going back to what I was saying earlier about uh, Christy, this is his third World Championships. Very first one, lost to Darren Lee of Malaysia in the first round. 2018, 2019, much better. Lost in the quarterfinals to Sai Pranit of India. No World Championships in 2020. Indonesia pulled out of the 2021 version, so this is his third for the third ever World Championships, Jonathan Christie, which, given how long he's been around, seems a bit hot, but of course, there have been extenuating circumstances. Oh, that's glorious, isn't it? Wonderful shot from Christy Sorry, down so the line. Seven. Wipe the court, please. Executed that brilliantly. I can only look on. Pop off. If anything, he's looking at positive moments well he's reduced that deficit to six but it's still a long way to go Out. Oh, frustration. 14, Look at him. 
He's Seven. really disappointed with himself. Looking for that far corner. It was the right idea. That's of any consolation. Starting to build that lead up again. It's eight points. Fifteen seven. Yeah, it's not going well at the moment 16, for Popov. Seven. Just seemingly lost his way a little bit, hasn't he? And Christy, I feel he's in a good position here to finish this first game if he can. Yeah, that net didn't help him. And now that lead is 10 points. Huge 10 points. Quick. He wants a quick wipe down there, pop off. Also, maybe just an opportunity to try and slow things down. Just give him a moment. Well, we look at uh, Jonathan Christie's record this year. He got to mixed bag again. He second round of the German Open, he lost to Kunlavut. Lost to Choti and Chen in the quarterfinals of the All England. Got to the finals and won the Swiss Open, beating Pranoy of India. Uh, I think he'd be really disappointed at the Service career up. open where he Eight, lost to the unheralded Wang Hong Young, who was promoted from the reserves. Uh, a match he was an overwhelming favourite to win and he didn't manage to do so. Service lost to Lizzie Jia in the 18, Asia Championships final. Opening round, lost to Zhao Jungpeng of the Indonesian Masters. That was very disappointing for the home crowd. And then the, the following week, lost in the second round to Tao Jung Pung. Service so Rob Salt Nine, wounds. 18. Pushed Victor Axelson in the semi to the semi finals of the Malaysia Open, but lost that one, unfortunately, for him. Followed that with a loss in the Malaysia Masters Service opening so round. 19. His most recent tournament, Singapore Open, surprisingly losing to Kodai Naraoka in the second round. So, as I said, mixed bag. He's gone far and very deep in some tournaments and eliminated very early in others. That is good. And he has got a very big, big cushion here, 11 game points. Rather meek way to end things in the first game. Jonathan first Christie game strolling Jonathan through Christie. the first game. 21-9. He looks uh, pretty good at the moment, doesn't he? The Indonesian. Thank 
много бързо ляво и ляво и ти си с тази скорост на перото малко закъсняваш с влагането на ракета и нямаш време. Call to 20 seconds. Call to 20 seconds. Hold. Tokyo was a, a very poignant moment for uh, Jonathan Christie. It was here that last year, uh, the opening game. round of the Olympics, Double. where he uh, spoke about, sadly, his, uh, his brother. Hey. Who, uh, unfortunately, very tragically passed away no. due to COVID-19. And he took some time off badminton to look after him. And he dedicated his Olympic debut uh, last year in Tokyo to his brother, Ivan. Unfortunately, he didn't go the way he wanted at the Olympics. But uh, obviously, extenuating circumstances for him in that one, he would have been very, very hard for himself. Well, that took place at the Musashino Forest Sport Plaza, which is not far from here. In the Olympics. Two, one. And uh, he did admit he'd lent on his good friend and uh, roommate, Anthony Sinisuko Ginting, for moral support. Right now, he doesn't need too much support from anywhere because he's very, very comfortable here. Very one-sided first game. And uh, yeah, Popov will just be aware that he cannot allow his opponent to run away with it too early on. He's got to keep that pressure up. like that or things he wants to just cut out of his game at the moment. Oh, he's misjudged that one quite badly. Pop off. Very, very much in that one. Very much out. Service of three, four. Ten, oh, good power there from Christy. Service of five, three. Uh, such a massive figure in Indonesia. If you uh, judge these things by, say, social media, there's some millions of followers there. Odds. Six, three. That lead is now up to three. And this is where Popov has to be aware.
Nicely killed there by Seven, Christie. Three. And you get the impression this is where he's making his move. He's starting to pull away. He's in a very good position here. Very nicely done from Christie. Eight, three. Yeah. Just played that round the head and. He's playing with real confidence at the moment. Where it could really zone. cause damage. Uh, Pop off. Smashes right into the body of Christie, who's got absolutely no room to maneuver. But he just hasn't been able to get to those sort of positions to play. Oh, jump smash. That's a credit to Christie. Oh, he can't quite do the same on the backhand, Christie. Five. Eight. The lead has now been reduced to three. Service sold. That's more like Nine. it from him. Five. Popov is using all these experiences to Six, nine. look towards France 24, the Olympics. Just under a couple of years from now, it's amazing. We just had the Olympics last year and we're already counting down to the next one. And of course, that's because of the fact that the Tokyo Olympics happened a year later than they were supposed to. But, uh, he's really Whoa. aiming at the men's doubles with his brother Christo. Service Ten, six. It's a real family affair. His uh, father, Thomas, is the coach. You heard him speaking in Bulgarian earlier on. Oh, that is wonderful from Christie. Eleven, six. Threw his opponent in. The net and then dispatch that jump smash. That is 11 6 at the interval. Yeah. Eleven, six. 
arrived in France at the age of six, unable to speak a word of French, but he's now aiming for those Olympics, as I said. Six. His brother. had moved to France to play badminton and he arrived at the age of six with his mum and brother, Christo. Badminton has really played a massive part of their lives. Doubles later on today with the final match of the day here on court two with his brother Christo against uh, Singapore's Terry He and Lokian Hien of Singapore. But uh, yeah, two matches in a day. Always a little tougher for those players who form in two disciplines. But they're all used to it, these guys. Seven, I think 14. he'd be quite happy though. There's a, a nice big gap. This is uh, match five today. So he has quite a long way to go until he plays later on. That's Christie down the line. That is glorious from the Indonesian. Eight points the gap now. Popov's so uncle, Mihail, Eight. also Fifteen. played for Bulgarian badminton. Played at the Olympics in uh, 2000. Before he also moved Rea. to France. So the uh, family's really made that big move. And it's changed his life, for sure. So so. Yeah, he 16. just looks a bit frustrated with Eight. himself uh, at the moment, Popov. And he knows that Christie now is just five points away from wrapping this up. It is really now or never time for Popov if he wants to stay in this. But it is looking increasingly difficult. That back. Oh, it's actually gone out, so he's uh, put a challenge in there, Christy. Out. I had to say my initial impression was that it was in, but we shall see shortly. It is in. Inside the line. Successful correction in 17 8. So Christie, very, very much in the driving seat here. Got that into the eight. far corner. Plenty of court to aim at there. And he's just three points away now from finishing this off. Just out. 18. He had a long, hard look at that. Decided not to 
take things further. Oh dear, that's disappointing as far as Popov's concerned. It's a, it's a bit of sympathy there from Christie. Gonna say, do that again. Just out. There's uh, probably 80. more consolation points than anything else now for Popov, unless, of course, he does something extremely special from here. along the way and now a massive 20, 10 match points point ten. for Jonathan Christie who will be looking to finish us off <laughs> he's played that a bit late and a cheeky short. attempt at the end 11 20 And that's all done there. Jonathan Christie has won this. Much won by Jonathan Christie. Very, very comfortably nine, indeed. 21-11. Excellent performance from him. He was the big favourite here anyway. Indonesia's Jonathan Christie defeats Francis Thomas Jr. Popov. 21-11, 21-9, 21 21-11 in 33 minutes. And uh, progresses to the next round after a very good win. Coming up next, it's women's singles, Aya Hori and Wintui Lin. <laughs> 